Hey guys, how is everyone? I hope everyone is fine. So this is just very quick guys while uh, the market is open today. So today is uh, August 3, 2021 and it's uh, 9.48 here in Central European time zone in 15 minutes more before the market in the US will close. So I would just like to demonstrate to you guys uh, how I'm going to set up a uh, put credit spread using an interactive broker and uh, as you may know that put credit spread is uh, an option trade where the trader believes that uh, the market price of a certain stock will stay above the sold uh, put so you can see here from the screen uh, the uh, option dashboard option trading dashboard or the uh, option chain so i have here a stock uh, uh, sorry it's a uh, etf ewy and uh, i would like to show first the chart so basically i am bullish on ewy ewy is the iShares uh, MS msci south korea etf so here is my uh, Angkor chart and as you can see this Angkor chart is uh, uh, composed of an uptrend and then a consolidation. So consolidation and then the price is the pullback, uh, made a double bottom and respected the, uh, the high. So right here around in this uh, area is a resistance area. So we believe that uh, if the price uh, reaches back, which is again on that area, we'll, uh, we will we might experience there or we might be able to observe some uh, sell pressure. But currently the price is right about the key support level. So because of that, we believe that uh, as a trader, a technical analyst, uh, that uh, the price will rally towards the resistance area. So in that case, uh, I believe that uh, the price of uh, EWI WI will uh, stay above this support area. So this, this is support area, so I'll take the lower range of that support so which is around 87 and so I believe that in one month it will stay above 87 so to express the trade using an option trade I will uh, uh, show you the option chain so I will what I'm going to do is to sell a put which is a strike price of 87 and I'm going to buy a put as a protection at uh, 84 so you might wonder why I'm buying a put so the put the uh, the one that I'm buying the put one, uh, both put will serve as a protection whenever there is a sudden uh, price uh, spike towards the downside so this is uh, to ensure that we are not going to take uh, huge loss so and here since we believe that the uh, price of EWY will stay above 87 in the next month within the next one month then I will be selling put at the strike price of 87 all right so let me show to you the option chain I, I have uh, inputted here EWY and this is stop ETF actually so I, I am and I will choose uh, 31 days uh, expiry so okay I made some mistake over here so I will cancel that I will choose this September 3 as our expiry uh, expiration date because today is August 3 so 31 days later and uh, I will be selling a put so this area here is a put area and the uh, last side is the call 
Well, we selling a strike price 87. So as you can see, the bid and ask here is 1 and 1.2. So I'm going to sell that one, but but uh, like what I said, I need uh, protection as well. So the protection that I will buy is at 84. Notice that uh, I will be selling at uh, put at 87, which is uh, having a higher price. So the average is 1.1. So in between the midpoint, while the put that I'm buying is a cheaper one. So it's like an insurance actually that we are buying an insurance should uh, there be a should the market or should EBWI will suddenly drop so this is to protect our portfolio from any kind of uh, unexpected uh, market move so I buy it so don't forget to double check that you are selling 87 you are buying 84 so never reverse because it will be it will result on trade to a trading error so this is only for one lot uh, order but uh, I would like that uh, so so since uh, this one margin impact so I will uh, place uh, 10 because I am allowed according to my account size I am allowed to to have a so I am allowed to have a margin impact uh, if I trade uh, with 1000 as a margin impact so that will be your maximum loss whenever uh, the trade will, will uh, suddenly move against you so that will be 1000 so without uh, the protection here the one that we bought at 84 strike this uh, maximum loss will be much much bigger so now we have reduced it to 1000 only for 7 lots so again if I put one no, one lot so there is no margin impact so but uh, I need 7 but you know uh, and, and if I'm getting seven some, uh, seven lots then I will get more credit that's the advantage so as you can see the spread is a little bit high so I will choose the midpoint around the not really midpoint but I would like to set my order at negative 0.6 so it means that 60 cent credit per lot and we multiply it to 100 and then it will be 60 uh, dollar and you multiply to 7 6 times 7 that's around 420 as a credit but uh, since uh, it might not be filled today so I will just set my order to GTC so that uh, the order can be still valid until the next days uh, I will just don't forget to cancel it uh, in the next few days should uh, the trade won't be filled Right, so now it's good to go and sending my order. So if, as you can see, there is this order ticket. This is the credit that I'm going to receive when this uh, uh, trade will be filled. So that will go to your account. And again, with this uh, 420 will be your profit if the conditions that we have checked uh, earlier will be valid. So means that it is month if the <coughs> price of the EWI will stay above 87 then the expiration the expiration date of this uh, trend which is one month then 420 is your gain but if EWI will suddenly uh, rally up in the next let's say five days then uh, it will be faster for us to make uh, profits from this trade Alright, so let's send it. Alright, so you will see the order over here. So as uh, so now it hasn't been filled. So it might not get filled today, it might be tomorrow or the next days. And also, to add to it, uh, I also uh, place an option trade uh, for BGFB at a price of. Uh, 0.7 with 
six slots. And actually, I believe that it can also be traded with uh, stock. Let me show to you the uh, chart BGFD. I'm quite bullish on this. Uh, as you can see, the price is bouncing at the support level, support area. So here is our support area. I believe that BGFB can rally up to 27 and 32. So that's a possibility. So that's a tip for you, bonus, for those who are watching now. So BGFB bullish. It's a buy signal. Uh, however, uh, there is a earning at August 3. So today is August 3, earning report. So we might uh, wait for that. The report to come out first before buy, but uh, hopefully it won't uh, make a gap after the earning support. All right, so that's it for today, guys. Uh,